This video is made possible by my patrons on Patreon. Hello everyone, my name is Ziamaro and welcome to Battlebright Sage. So the other day I saw a thread on Reddit entitled Comps Don't Matter Before X Rank. Reddit user DanL9RM, catchy name by the way, argues that comps do matter at low ranks just like they matter at any other rank. He says this is a topic that comes up time and time again and it's really unhelpful to lower ranked players. Perhaps unsurprisingly, most of the responses in the thread disagree and say comps don't matter in silver or whatever and that mechanics are more important than team comp. I thought it would be a really interesting thing to discuss. So let's ask the question, do team comps matter at low ranks? So I'm just going to come straight out and say it. Yes, team comps matter at all ranks. To say otherwise is just a complete fallacy. Let's give you an example to demonstrate why. Let's say you have a game full of silver ranked players. And let's also say they're all on a champion that they're comfortable with. They should all be around the same skill level presuming there are no smurfs. One team has Jamong and Alicia, the other team has Shifu and Sirius. If both teams play to the best of their ability, the Shifu and Sirius team will probably win. Do you disagree? Okay, switch out silver for literally any other rank and you'd probably have the same result. You put two strong melee champions against two ranged champions who can't escape easily at the start of the round and the melee team will get a momentum advantage at the start and they'll usually win. The only time there might be an exception to this is if the ranged team are better players than the melee team. And I guess that's the point that all the responses in the thread are trying to make. If you're a better player than your opponent, you'll beat them regardless of comp. But I mean, just saying that out loud, can you hear what a logical fallacy that is? Apparently, good players beat bad players. Who'd have thunk it? So really, when people say that team comp doesn't matter at low ranks, they're essentially just saying, get good. Now, don't get me wrong here, team comps aren't the be all and end all. This isn't WoW Arena where some comps are hard to pull off for technical reasons, such as sharing too many diminishing returns or whatever. Battle Right doesn't have those kind of limitations, so you can make a wide variety of team comps work, especially in 3v3. But the thing is, if all players in a game are of equal skill, something else is gonna be the decider. If you're just as skilled as your opponent, but you have a better comp, yeah, you've just increased your chances of winning. So if you have the option of picking a better comp than your opponent, it will give you an advantage. But this wouldn't be a fair discussion if I didn't offer a counterpoint. And one person in the comments of the post that inspired this video did actually mention this. Yes, team comps matter at all ranks, but to dwell on team comps when you're bronze or silver is kind of a waste of energy. Don't let team comp become an excuse as to why you lose. Let's put it this way, the amount of mechanical gains you can make between bronze and high gold or platinum are huge. And if you focus on your mechanics, you should be able to improve on those pretty quickly. So you can go from a bronze level player mechanically to a gold level player in a very short amount of time. But if all you're really doing is focusing on whether or not your team's playing a good comp, you're probably not focusing on becoming a better player. If you're getting super tilted by team comps in bronze or silver league, you have your priorities all wrong. Instead of wasting energy worrying about team comps, just focus on improving as an individual. The other thing to bear in mind is that you're always better off playing a champion that you're good at than just playing something because it's apparently a good comp. So long story short, yes, team comps matter at all ranks. And if you're putting together a twos or a threes team, you should definitely search for teammates who can play champions that complement yours. But in solo queue, no matter what rank you are, try not to get bogged down by team comps. And actually, if your main motivation is to climb, don't play something just because it fits the comp. Always play your best champions. For the vast majority of people, there are three or so champions that they can play to the best of their ability. So pick your best champion from that pool and just roll with it and stop worrying about team comps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please feel free to subscribe for more Battle Right guides, news and discussion. If you'd like to help support the channel and get some unique rewards, then head over to patreon.com slash battlerightsage. And don't forget to check out twitch.tv slash battlerightsage. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Mm-hmm.